Next story, US government secret move to hide files on the Osama bin Laden raid. This is an article by Mike Krieger. And he basically points out that the story behind the Osama bin Laden raid has been one contradiction after another, as we've documented on this show. Of course, we've had strong indications and testimony for years that bin Laden, in fact, died shortly after 9-11. And this was followed by a series of dodgy video and audio tapes, many of which were questioned in terms of their authenticity by respected academic bodies and other figures. You remember even Walter Cronkite, the famous news broadcaster, accused the Bush administration of staging the 2004 Osama bin Laden videotape, which came out right before the elections and was in fact credited by some as securing that election for George W. Bush over John Kerry. So we've had the, um, you know, the speculation about the Marfan syndrome, Osama bin Laden being on kidney dialysis, numerous reports that he had died shortly after 9-11. Then we have the so-called raid itself, the May 2011 raid on his compound in Pakistan, and his supposed burial at sea, you know, getting rid of, getting rid of the body quicker than Tony Soprano would, the refusal by the White House to release the images of the corpse, and of course the hoax story about bin Laden using his wife as a human shield, which came out immediately after the raid, later was proven to be complete nonsense. So now we have this. The Associated Press reports, the nation's top special operations commander ordered military files about the Navy SEAL raid on Osama bin Laden's hideout to be purged from Defense Department computers and sent to the CIA, where they could be more easily shielded from ever being made public. Secretly moving the records allowed the Pentagon to tell the Associated Press that it couldn't find any documents inside the Defense Department that AP had requested more than two years ago and could represent a new strategy for the US government to shield even its most sensitive activities from public scrutiny. So, you know, taking the NSA's line of logic, if you've got nothing to hide, then why not release the records? Why have we heard fanciful tales about bin Laden, the latest being this bizarre story about him being stopped for speeding in Pakistan, yet no hard evidence that any kind of raid which took out bin Laden actually took place in that area of Pakistan? And now an attempt to hide what really happened from public scrutiny by having files removed from the Defense Department computers and shifted over to the CIA. You know, you don't have to be a conspiracy theorist to accept there's something about the supposed bin Laden raid which the White House doesn't want you to know about. Moving on to technology news now. This is out of Natural News. 3D printing machines are printing bananas and mushrooms for consumption in space. Astronauts headed for outer space might be bringing mechanical chefs along in the form of 3D printers capable of printing food from efforts by scientists at Cornell University. Gel-like substances called hydrocolloids, altered with varying flavored agents, are producing food with different tastes and textures when printed. This could eliminate waste and space occupied by pre-packaged food containers. And did you know that this team at Cornell University has already been successful in printing fake bananas, mushrooms, and mozzarella cheese that closely resembles and tastes like the real thing. That's how far they've got along with this amazing 3D printing technology. And you know, given Moore's law, before we know it, everyone's going to have a home kitchen, 3D printer. Within five to ten years, Cornell's talking about the fact that the technology will be perfected to the point where you won't even be able to tell the difference between the real and the printed food. And eventually, of course, according to futurists, we're going to be printing entire houses and vehicles. As we saw, though, with Homeland Security targeting defense distributed with a 3D firearm, when people use this technology as a tool of self-empowerment, the state doesn't like it. Same with the internet, same with any emerging technology. The technology itself is neutral, it can be used for good or bad, but the establishment wants to seize and maintain the power to decide who can use it at all.
because there's a war on for your mind. That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is, is an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states and the conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, Infowars.com. Listen to Alex Jones at Infowars.com. Infowars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, Infowars.com. And then on top of it, six medium-sized bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12-month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's going to be quite a while until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They want to collectivize us. They want to bankrupt us. They want to drive us into their arms to control us. They want to dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is for humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. I am all in. I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. And our listeners and supporters, our info warriors, who aren't behind us, they're right beside us. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past, and I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence, that know this information is true, but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the new world order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area. Millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team.